In this session, we will see classification of systems. Here, systems are classified into the following categories. Those are linear and non-linear systems, time-variant and time-invariant systems, linear time-variant and linear time-invariant systems, static and dynamic systems, and causal and non-causal systems, invertible and non-invertible systems, stable and unstable systems. These are the sum of the systems. These are the sum of the categories in the signals and systems especially this is the classification of systems in this session i would like to explain about linear and non-linear systems with one example in the classification of systems the first one is linear and non-linear systems here a system is said to be linear when it satisfies superposition and homogeneity principles consider two systems with inputs as x1 of t x2 of t and outputs as y1 of t y2 of t respectively here the system is said to be linear only if it satisfies superposition and homogeneity principles otherwise the system is said to be non linear system here consider two systems with inputs as x1 of t x2 of t and outputs as y1 of t and y2 of t respectively then according to the superposition and homogeneity principle then the condition is t of a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t equal to a1 t x1 of t plus a2 t x2 of t this is the condition of linear system depending upon the superposition and homogeneity principles here therefore t of a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t we can also written as a1 y1 of t plus a2 y2 of t here y1 of t is nothing but a t of x1 of t t of x1 of t is equal to y1 of t and t of x2 of t is equal to y2 of t so this is the condition of linear systems if its the system satisfies the this condition then the system is said to be linear system otherwise the system is said to be non linear system and therefore from the above expression it is clear that response of overall system is equal to the response of individual system here it is a response of overall system this is a overall system response and this is the individual system response so in the, from the above expression we clearly observe that total response of the system is equal to the individual response of the system so this is the condition of linear system if it satisfies this condition then the system is said to be linear otherwise the system is said to be non linear now we can see one example here this is the example of linear uh, and non linear systems for now we can find the this is for y of t equal to x square of t is it linear system or non linear system now we can see first of all we assume that y1 of t equal to t of x1 of t that is equal to x1 square of t by why because we already told about y of t equal to x x square of t so in that way y1 of t equal to x1 square of t and y2 of t equal to t of x2 of t is equal to x2 square of t and therefore from the linear and non linear system condition t of a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t equal to a t x1 of t plus a t x2 of t here a t x of t x1 of t means here a y1 of t plus a y2 of t a1 and y1 of t is nothing but a x1 square of t plus a2 y2 of t is nothing but a x2 square of t then we can written as a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t whole square we here x1 x1 square of t here x2 square of t then we can simply written as a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t whole square here we can clearly observe that which is not equal to a1 y1 of t plus a2 y2 of t here a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t is nothing but a a1 y1 of t plus a2 y2 of t so it is not equal to this one 
so lhs is not equal to rhs so it doesn't satisfy the linear system condition hence the system is said to be non linear system in this way we can find the whether the system is linear system or non linear system depending upon the this solution that is total overall response of the system is equal to the individual response of the system then the system is said to be linear otherwise the system is said to be non linear thank you